So, full disclosure, about, uh, I guess it was, what is this month, the end of October, it was uh, uh, about the end of September, middle of September, I think, yeah, mid, early mid-September, I, uh, I was having trouble peeing. Um, so I went to the doctor and uh, <clears throat> he gave me some uh, medication called Flomax, which uh, shrinks the prostate uh, or relaxes the pro relaxes the muscles around your prostate and allows the the the, the flow to flow. Uh, but he ordered up some tests to do. Uh, because he was concerned about maybe having some problems. And so we had to go through this process of a biopsy. Um, one of the most stressful, painful, and demoralizing events I've ever dealt with in my life. Um, Anyway, we uh, tested uh, my prostate and found that I had a lot of cancer in the prostate. <clears throat> so he ordered up another exam, the, 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 the big biopsy, which is the one I was talking about. It was actually two, two there was a, an in-office exam um, and then there was the, the, the one, the event. Um, and so they started me on medication to inhibit hormones from going to my prostate to starve the cancer in my prostate. Uh, they also found uh, during a uh, scan that I had cancer in two lymph nodes. <coughs> one down by the vein in my leg, the main artery that runs down the inside of your leg, and one near my rectum. And, uh, which made my cancer stage 4B, I think? Stage 4 something. Um, so, having to treat all of this is a process, and, uh, uh, it ended my truck driving uh, career. At least it put it on hold. And my company was letting me keep my truck, and I was driving a little bit here and there, a day or two a week, um, to try to keep the money up to make, you know, truck payments and, uh, you know, stuff like that. But that ended because I just couldn't keep the truck sitting there so much. And so. I had to clean out my truck, and so now I don't have a job. I just have a YouTube. So, um, here's the thing. We're doing this, uh, this shot now every three months, which, uh, which uh, blocks my hormones from getting to my body. So now I'm going through um, what the women go through whenever their hormones shut off. And, I'm going to be doing the hot flashes and all the crazy mood swings and all that nonsense that guys hate so much. I'm going to be going through that. Actually, I guess I already am. Uh, so that's a thing. And then uh, uh, they're going to see what my prostate looks like after I go through that. And then they're going to do the radiation treatments and uh, I don't know how that's going to go yet but it all sounds pretty sucky so there's that um, and <coughs> and that requires that I go in every single day five days a week for about a month and a half which means no workies during those times so there's that and then Ultimately, 
you know, surgery isn't really an option right now because it's in multiple places and only one of which they could get to, the other two they couldn't. So the surgery itself might actually make the whole situation worse uh, because you're adding the healing from the surgery to everything else. And so they're going to try this thing with the hormones and then the thing with the targeted radiation and, um, you know, uh, basically, you know, kind of in denial and, uh, <laughs> and how this is probably going to go is, is not going to be, you know, ideal for, um, for me and my, my people. So I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that we can, uh, you know, starve that shit right out of there and, But uh, I'm not, uh, I don't know, we shall see how this goes. So, um, I'm going to be living off of YouTube income. Uh, I need to get a thousand subscribers before I can do that, but it's coming. You know, you guys are, you guys are all subscribing and stuff, so that's good. And uh, uh, I get that started, and that's going to help out quite a bit. But as far as, uh, I got insurance, you know, most of this stuff is covered and, uh, my wife has a good job. So we got insurance. Money is snug, but it's not non-existent. We, we're going to be okay in that regard. I just got to keep, you know, got to keep my morale up, I guess. I guess that's the biggest thing. And, uh try to stay positive and uh and i do um i uh i just felt the need to make this video because there may be somebody else out there going through this the same time i am i'm sure there's plenty of people going through it and uh you know it's not the end of the world it it might be the end of my life at some point but um Right now, I'm still up and moving around, so there's that. And, you know, it's not about the quantity of it. It's about the quality. And I love my wife very much. She is uh, she is my world. And uh, she's been absolutely awesome through this whole situation. And she will continue to be awesome because she's an awesome person. And I, I've been through many, many things with her, and she's been right there by my side through it. And uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't trade her for nothing. Nothing. I wouldn't trade her for 20 extra years to live. I'd rather live the next two or three or four or five years with her as have 30 years without her. Seriously. Um, there ain't, uh, you know... It is what it is. So, I know this is a stupid video and has nothing to do with car audio. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna you know we're gonna stick it out here anyway. And for those of you people that can't that don't get it, like oh it's not car audio. I'm gonna unsubscribe, my friend. I never wanted you here in the first place. So. The people that know, the people understand. This is life. Life isn't all about one thing. Life is a box of chocolates. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, <clears throat> hopefully, you guys understand whenever I post random weird stuff, it's because my life is randomly weird. And uh, I try to distract myself when, you know, I get to thinking about uh, bad things. I try to distract myself with uh, better, more positive, constructive thoughts. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for subscribing, commenting, liking, 
making it possible for me to keep doing something I enjoy and uh, maybe have it make a little bit of my living, you know, so that uh, things can go a little smoother in the household and uh, and all I have to worry about is just fighting this, fighting this battle, right? Not so much, you know, financial situations. So anyway, guys, peace.